Hi, we're back. We just discussed moisturizing the face, the older woman's face. Like I said, I'm 49 years old and um, I've had some people ask me about my makeup routine and how I look so natural and I, I guess you think I look young. I, I don't agree with you. But um, but my mom does have, my mom's 71 and her skin looks like a, probably a 55 year old skin. I mean, or to a 50-year-old skin. She has very great skin. She has hardly any wrinkles on her at all. But I take after my dad. And my dad always had the deeper set wrinkles right here. But he, he was a smoker, but he still didn't have any lines over his lip. I've got one little bitty feathering line starting here and one little one right over here. But I think I'm 49. I think that's pretty good. And then on my forehead, I have a couple of lines starting to come on where, you know, you get that deep set uh, worry line right here. Oh, I'm worried. But I have the really blonde eyebrows. Um, this is my natural color of my hair in the summer. And then this is the color of my hair, this darker red in the winter. And you can see where I wear my hair up. In a ponytail a lot. Okay. And my, and my bangs, I've always had bangs. My daughter wants me to grow my hair out. I'm this is, for 49 year old, this is my makeup routine. I mean, like I said, you do it however you want to do it. I've had people ask me how I look natural without having all the... Well, I have splotchy skin. You can see this now. I've got all my lotions on. That's part one about all the lotions. Now we're talking about just the base makeup and how I actually apply my makeup. Well, the first thing you want to do is you want to get yourself a really nice set of brushes. I use this one here for the finishing powder, and my daughter gave this to me. I don't even know the brand of the brush. I use this one here for my concealer and it's just some C and O and L. Um, it's just some brand that I got off eBay. Name brand. And this is what I, it's firm and it's kind of round on top. That's why I uh, put on my blush with this one. Any of these, let me turn that one. Any of these right here I use for my eyeshadow. Also, I'll use these little wedges sometimes to pat things, especially on concealer. But the angled brush, you see the angle on that brush? See how it's angled and sloped this way? Okay. Um, again, I think I paid about um, $5 for this brush, and it was off of eBay as well, same company. You don't have to have a real expensive set of brushes. I like these, the pink with the gold, but these... Um, Synthetic hair does not absorb as much makeup, but these are animal hair brushes. They do absorb more makeup. So, um, so if you want to save money on makeup, be sure and get synthetic brushes. But I'm allergic to plastic and rubbers. So um, this is my foundation brush right here, okay? And I love this one. It blends really nice, and it just doesn't spread out. I mean, I've been using this for almost two months now, and you can see it's, it's kept its shape pretty well. Another really good foundation brush right here. Like I said, my eyebrows and eyelashes are blonde, so you can't really see them. Um, they're very white, very blonde. Sorry, this one right here is my blush brush. I can tell by it being pink. This, is, this one right here is my blush brush right there. Some lipstick tips right here. And these are just some that I got, again, off eBay. They're not name brand, but you don't press really hard on the lips. Eyeliner brushes here as well. And another eye brush. I blend in my concealer sometimes with these, but I don't really use them that much. But it also came with these brushes as well. You can see this? And I just put them here in a jar here that I picked up for a couple of dollars at Big Lots. Isn't that pretty? And it just sits right over here. Okay. Now here's my makeup here. We're going to discuss that. I have all kinds of concealers. 
I have the cover girl and I need my bifocals I can't read what it says 705 I think so I have my cover girl concealer I have a cover girl liquid concealer this is um, again trying to read it is not easy for me it says very light I think it says very light on there and again it's just cover girl more cover girl and this is 720 and this is the smoothers and this is great when you're contouring right here if you are contouring you want to go a couple of colors darker uh, older skin you really shouldn't be doing this too much but if you got younger skin then this right here you just want to go a couple of tones darker for contouring I don't use that I'm putting that away I just wanted to show you if I'm contouring and going out for the evening then I might do a little contouring right in here and right through here first layer I put on is the advanced radiance with Olay in it it has um, it's the age-defying version here from CoverGirl and this is number uh, number 125 for fair skin remember when you pick out your makeup at the store try a little on it's fine and you see this right here try it on your hand my face is actually a little redder and a little darker than my hand but by the time I blend this in you see that I did get a little bit of color I probably should have went a little bit lighter like this one here let me try it on the back of this one you see that that blends in really nicely and you can't even see that I'm wearing it this fair collar actually works better for me but I like the way this doesn't show my wrinkles so the uh, advanced radiance cover girl with Olay in it this right here is actually with the pump this is actually better for my, my face this however doesn't really hide wrinkles or anything but it is hydrating next up and I love this I could wear this alone and it will last most of the day if I set it and it's number 845 and I actually use this for contouring but I'll put this all over my face in the summer when I have more of a tan it has a little bit more of a reddish brown tint to it but it's the CoverGirl Outlast Stay Fabulous 3-in-1 and this has um, it has the sunscreen in it of 20 SPF 20 and this is the 845 and it's called the warm beige okay and this is my top coat or for more defining you know more contouring this is cover girl and um, if you don't have wrinkles or if you're just contouring out of the wrinkle area this is good to add a little bit of color and some stay power for makeup okay and again that's why it's a little bit darker and always use a little bit of setting powder right here and that's what the big brush is for I just set my makeup with this right here and this is by CoverGirl as well. Um, somebody gave this to me. It's LA Colors palette for the eyes and that's what I'm going to be using today. I don't think that it uh, has a really deep color set to it but I don't really like a lot of deep color on the eyes. But I do like this color palette. It's in the browns. And they got this at Dollar General for like five dollars. They have it in the blues and the greens as well. Eyeliner pencils blacks and browns and I have large eyes see that so I'm going to show this to you in a minute and then today because it's winter I'm going to be wearing a warm color on the lips and I also use cheeks I use the same color on my lips as I do on the cheeks that blends my uh, lips and then I top coat it with a little bit of a frosting and that's by CoverGirl and it's called Rose Quartz this one is by CoverGirl and it's number 425. Then if you want to get a little bit of a highlight, then here's L'Oreal's uh, Copper number 892. Okay? And I've explained it all to you. Let's go ahead and I'm going to get started. I just want a fresh face today. So I'm starting with the uh, CoverGirl Smoothers. My brush of choice right here the angled flat brush and I'm just going to put this in the areas that I need it and do some blending and this is just a 
nice base for my makeup. Gives me a nice fresh face. Nice even. See, I already got I'm already getting rid of that blotchiness right here. And right here. Go up into here. I kept a little on my finger to kind of blend in those areas. I'll hit those a little bit better in just a minute. And I will hit these a little bit better in a minute. Get down inside of here. I don't want to tug on the eye and I still have a little spot right here. Now I'm just going to use my liquid concealer. I'm going to get rid of some of these spots right down here. Down the center right here. And get rid of that line that I've got going right here. And again, just going to blend that. Give me some highlights here on the forehead. You know what? I'm using the wrong brush. I'm going to use this brush right here. love the way this brush feels. It just feels so good. Gets into that crease right there in my nose and it just really pat, don't pull. Start with our base color. I'm gonna just kind of put a little bit on. I had a uh, birthmark removed right here, so and again, I'm just going to. get it off your ears and blend it into your hairline you can always use a little dark color here or a little dark color right here and blend it right in here Right now I'm just adding, um, right now I'm just adding a fresh look to my face. I'm just trying to get everything all one tone without it looking so kicked on. See, the lines are disappearing and I've got a little bit of a nice coloring right here and on the eyes. Get those lips, get the lips wiped off. Remember, don't tug on the eyes. That was my big mistake all those years, is tucking on the eyes. You don't want to do that. Next, we're going to add a little contouring with the 3-in-1. And keep this out of, the, uh, out of the wrinkle areas. We're just going to do a little bit of sculpting. Right in there. And blend. And that's that. 
after that. Now I'm going to take what I like to call my erasing tool. blend. My first tutorial like this so I'm, I'm not really sure if you can see me or not. <laughs> Wash your hands. Wash the makeup off your eyebrows a little bit there, just a little bit. Okay, make sure that you get that. And again, if you want to contour, you can use this right here. I'll just go ahead and do it just to show you. Blend it on your ears. You don't want a line right here. You can see me here. You don't want a line right here. So, and you want to define your jawline just a little bit when you're getting a little bit older. Like I said, you want to get that that pulled back, fresh face look. So, you want to make sure there's no makeup on your ears and kind of blend up and behind your ears here just a little bit. Again, I have a scar here, so we kind of got rid of that. Blot around the wrinkle areas here just a little bit. Heavier makeup makes you look, um, makes the wrinkles show up more. Now we're just going to set our makeup with our powder. Now when you're older, you don't want to use very much powder at all, or it will really show your wrinkles. So keep it out of the wrinkle areas, like here and here. Make sure you keep it out of those areas and wipe it off. It's fine to get rid of a little bit of sheen. Bare Minerals is a really good product for this as well. Um, hit your decollage right here a little bit. Be sure to moisturize all the way down. I see so many people that sun and they tan and they got wrinkles all through here. Um, I'm starting to get a few of them, but again, you don't want to do anything that highlights those wrinkles. So get rid of any makeup or any powders or anything that might have fallen on your chest. And now we're going to work on the eyes. Let's start with this brush here. It's just a flat brush. I'm just going to dive right into the reds. Here, I'm going to darken my um, eyebrows just a little bit. I don't know if you can see that or not. I hope you can. Now, I already have big eyes, see? So I don't want to bring my eyebrow up really high in a really high arch because that's going to make me look more wide-eyed. I don't want to do that. So if you get told you have big eyes like I do all the time, um, I want to tell you that I'm visually impaired. I am legally blind. 
But the good news is, is my vision is improving, but I'm also losing retinas because of it. So, um, I'm going to take the comb here. Get some of those powders off of there. But yeah, my eyebrows, see I have them, they're just, um, and I don't pluck them, they're just really, really blonde. And I just need to bring them out just a little bit. Oops, too much. Too much. If you think you did too much, then just get a defining brush here and wipe it back off. Nothing is set in stone yet, okay? Make sure to keep your hands washed though because you don't want. Alright, now we're going to do the eyes. I'm going to use this brush here. And I'm going to go into this color and a little bit of the red again. Like I said, these colors aren't really highly pigmented so I'm just going to go into this crease right here oops I already messed up for you only when you're on film right just go into that crease same thing for the other eye I don't know if you can see me or not but just go into that crease I really like the way that these brushes feel on my skin. They feel so soft. And you don't want to pull or tug very hard, okay? This is the issue with older skin. You don't want to pull or tug really hard. The battery ran out. I was just putting on my eye makeup. And again, you don't want to put this on really heavy for older women, okay? You just don't. You don't need all these wings and all this stuff. You just don't need it. Um, you know, yet let the younger girls with the younger skin, let them have their makeup. Let them do their wild, crazy, whatever thing. Um, I'm just taking this brush here. You can see that. And I'm going into the white here. And I'm just going to give myself some highlights right here. And just, I'm just going to blend it all in right here into where I put the darker collar. Into the crease here, I'm just blending. Same thing on the other eye. I naturally have a highlight right here. This just kind of lets the light kind of hit it a little bit. And then I kind of brush and blend that back off. Oops. And then I hit a little bit of a highlight right here where I have some purple spots right here. Just a little bit. And then I come in here with a natural collar this right here and I just hit a little bit right in here I don't want to look like I got you know I don't want to look like I got a bruised eyeball somebody punched me in the eye that's not what I'm going for I mean I'm getting rid of all the dark colors I mean that's why I take my finger and I just kind of blend it just kind of pat and blend it Simple and natural, I mean. This is my favorite brush right here to get into the creases. There we go. If there's a little bit of product still left on here. Now's a good time to kind of. There we go. See that? I mean, I didn't really go. If you can see that, I don't know. Yes, I do wash my hands a lot. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to dip into this and give myself a highlight on the actual eyelid. I'm just going to use this brush here. I'm just going to dip in just a little bit. Give myself a little sparkle to the eye. Right in there. See? 
just a little sparkle. Never hurt nobody. Makes me look like I'm happy and glowing and not a problem in the world. Q-tips. See that? Q-tips. Give me that powder that was up in the hairs on my nose. I know it's gross, but get them out. Please take care of your lips, okay? Here are some Abreva. Any cold sores, anything like this, please use it. My husband gets cold sores, and I always just kind of use this as a preventative. I can never kiss him. Um, chapstick, okay? Let's finish off the eyes. I'm gonna go ahead, and I didn't do it this time, but I'm gonna go ahead and just show you. I got some brown eyebrow pencil here. I just feel like I need a little bit more defining uh, detail lines right here. Just a few, kind of hit some of the hairs right in here and give myself a little bit more detail. I don't like drawing on um, eyebrows. Kind of do my little thing to kind of I know, I wash my hands a lot, but and remember, drinking water, keep rehydrating. I'm gonna go ahead and drink this before I get my lipstick on. That's almost an entire bottle of water here while I was putting on my makeup. It's just a really good time for, uh, for me for prayer. So this is a really good time where I can, you know, spend time um, praying and things like that. This is my time with the Lord is in the morning. Now I'm just gonna take a dark brown, I, um, eyeliner pencil and I'm just gonna go in the inside of my eye like this and you can see I'm gonna do one eye and not the other and then you're gonna see how now if you have a small eye only put your eyeliner right to here especially on an older eye but I have a large eye so I really got to go inside here and hit it And my daughter has a stuff that she paints on, and that's too dark for me because um, and again, don't rub your eyes. I don't like that eyebrow pencil as much. There we go. Kind of blend, pat and dab. I'm just going to do one eye up so you can see the difference. See already my eye is closing in. I don't like the way that looked right there. Oh, I just got it on my contact. Don't you hate that? Fogged up contact all day. I'll have to clean, take it out and clean it. And I just got my eye makeup on. Now, because my eyelashes are so uh, thin, um, now that I'm getting older, my eyelashes are very thin and very far and few between. Um, what I can do at this stage is I can put on false eyelashes. They're really thin ones, and that's fine. some of my makeup here. I'm trying to define. Okay, so you can see the difference now in the eye. Okay. I'm going to go over here real quick and I'm going to do the other one and I will be right back. Or I could just let you watch me do it, I guess. See, if I were just to put it right here in the corner of the eye here, I think my problem is I'm using black instead of brown. Duh. I should have used my brown black. But anyway, then you can see I look more um, more closed in here. My eye still looks too large like this. But if you have a smaller eye, just stop with it right here. You don't have to go all the way around. 
Okay, we're gonna take this little thing out of my hair that I put in kind of funky wrong. myself rubber band hair by putting my hair back. <laughs> That's why I can never really put my hair back after I wash it. It gives me that wave in my hair that, that I naturally have right here. But I'm not, guys, I'm not going anywhere today. I'm cleaning out my closet. So The last and final step, lipstick. This is number 425 from Revlon. Or cover girl, excuse me. Oh, I forgot blush. Hang on. If you have a thin look, hit that bottom right there. across the bridge here if you want to. I don't do that. Smear in my blush and I go up with it and then kind of hit the, the apples of the cheeks here. And again, if you want to contour, you can do a little contouring right in here with some darker um, blush. Let me just kind of come up in here and I kind of hit right in here a little bit. Again, the bald cheek and I go up with it. See that? And then forward, ball of cheek. Hmm. And if I had my setting spray, I would hit my setting spray, but I'm out of it. And carry some Right there, some Ulta Carry some setting spray. So. Last but not least is my quartz highlighter. Normally, if I blow dried my hair, I could have got it to actually do something really cool, but like I said, I put on more makeup than I normally do. Normally, I'm pretty natural, but if I'm going out on the town or we're going out for the day, this is the way I wear my makeup. Um, anyway, I hope that you like this. I hope that if you have skin that's starting to age, you know, just be really careful when you're putting on your makeup. Just use your fingers and pat it. Get some really soft brushes like this. These are so soft. And I've really noticed that I quit aging as fast when I started using softer brushes. And I, just, and I didn't pull at my skin, you know, like this. I just kind of, use your ring fingers. Or use your little middle fingers and just tap. Um, a nice pair of earrings really will set off this look. And again, you can see my eyebrows are still blending in color-wise with my and I want to show you my forehead. The lines here are not near as prominent as they were. And um, anyway, I hope this helps. A lot of people are asking me how I get the winged eye look. I think it's just the almond shape of my eyes. I really don't do the, the um, and I guess I can do it here real quick and we can see what it looks like. The winged look maybe? I don't know. But anyway, this is Chef and Builder J.D. Pendleton. I, I really hope that you liked part one and part two of, of my makeup tutorial. I mean, how many women really want to lay it all on the public on what you look like without makeup on? Not a whole lot of people, and especially me. I mean, as natural as I go, uh, normally what I will wear is just something as simple as just something like this. Um, a little eyeliner, a little eyebrow pencil. 
maybe a little concealer on some things, and um, and a lipstick on my cheeks and on my lips. Sometimes I don't even put on mascara. Um, I'm allergic to most mascaras, so I never forget my homemade deodorant. Go right here, and you can hit that link. And um, and a lot of people have been asking me about posting my videos for um, on how to make my shampoos and things. Actually, there's really no recipe to it. I wash my hair with cider vinegar. Just go over here to uh, part number one right here, and where I talk about how I make my face look uh, so fresh and everything before I apply my makeup, and how to get more of a wrinkle-free look. Um, my daughter's getting married in a couple of months. Um, we're gonna go pick out my dress. So I think I'll probably wear some sort of a really light gold color dress. Maybe I'll Anyway, that will be the big reveal, will be my uh, Mother of the Bride uh, dress reveal. Um, this is probably the way I'll wear my makeup. I mean, I mean, it's it works for me. I'll probably change my lip color probably to match the dress a little bit more. And um, I might wear my makeup maybe a little heavier in the blush and maybe a little less in the eye makeup. Because I'm just, I'm just, like I said, I'm not an eye makeup. I just did that to show you how, if I go out on the town, how I would put a little bit more in the evening on my eyes. But during the day, as you can see most of my videos, I really don't wear a lot of makeup, so I just put it on for you. So this is how um, I do it. Um, when you get older, your skin changes, and you just have, I mean, things hurt. Your skin change, things change, and you just have to make some adaptions. That's all. And rehydration, very important. Okay, now I'm done for the morning. I'm gonna go get my breakfast and feed the puppy and we're gonna get in here and we're gonna clean out the master closet. So come along for the ride today because we have a lot going on. This is Chef and Builder Janie Pendleton. Blessings. Anyway, this is Chef and Builder Janie Pendleton. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and I hope this helped the older woman that's having the wrinkles or having more of the skin problems or dry skin. Uh, going through menopause and um, this makeup tutorial that's for you not for the young girl it's for the older woman and if you have any tidbits and tips on how you do it just let me know blessings